Reductions are another purification technique used in organic laboratories. out three grams of your solid compound that contains equal amounts of P-nitroaniline, benzoic acid, and biphenyl. You'll be dissolving this in your organic solvent, dichloromethane. Then, you'll be using the separatory funnel to extract out the P-nitroaniline first. To do this, you'll add hydrochloric acid, where your P-nitroaniline will go into the aqueous layer while your benzoic acid and biphenyl will stay in the organic layer. This happens because P-nitroaniline is basic. And when you add an acid to it, the P-nitroaniline will, will form its corresponding salt. And then after you remove the aqueous layer with the P-nitroaniline, you'll be able to crash out the P-nitroaniline by neutralizing it using NaOH. Again, you'll be left with benzoic acid and biphenyl in the organic layer. In order to extract the benzoic acid, you want to do the reverse of what you did with the P-nitroaniline. Because benzoic acid is obviously an acid, you want to add sodium hydroxide, a base, to the separatory funnel. And this, benzoic acid, will move into the aqueous layer by forming its corresponding salt why biphenyl will stay within the organic layer. Again, you want to remove the aqueous layer and crash out the benzoic acid by neutralizing, by neutralizing the solution with hydrochloric acid. Now, in, in the separatory funnel, it will remain your organic layer, which only has the biphenyl. You will remove the organic solvent left in in the solution by Rotofab, which we'll show you how to use later. You have weighed out your three grams of your P nitroaniline, benzoic acid, and biphenyl mixture. You're going to dissolve this in 40 milliliters of the, your organic solvent dichloromethane. Make sure that this compound dissolves completely before you add it into the separatory funnel. If it is not dissolving completely, add more organic solvent. This is the separatory funnel, which you must use in a ring clamp at all times when it is standing in your hood. You're going to pour your compound dissolved in the organic solvent into the separatory funnel, making sure that it is closed before you do so. Now, you want to add your first 15 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid into the separatory funnel. to shake your separatory funnel by removing it from the, the standing iron ring clamp and placing your fingers on top of the stopper and holding it between your fingers. Now with your hand clamped on the other side, you want to invert it. Now you can turn the clasp to release the excess pressure. Make sure when you're doing so, you're pointing the bottom of the separatory funnel away from yourself and your neighbors. Now, close the clasp and you want to shake the separatory funnel. You don't want to shake it too hard because emulsions will form. Then, continue to vent again by, un by opening the clasp and releasing the excess pressure. Venting is very important to you often while you're mixing your liquids. You can do this process a couple of times to make sure that your liquids have completely, that the, the compound that you're trying to partition between the two phases has moved completely into the other phase. Now, you're going to put the separatory funnel back on the iron clamp, make sure, making sure that the clasp is closed. You're going to take the stopper off the top of the separatory funnel so that you can then again move, remove the aqueous layer. here. 
some of the compound has moved up into the aqueous layer from the organic solvent. You can see the color difference here, although not all liquid-liquid extractions will show this color difference. To extract out the aqueous layer, you need to remove the organic layer first, which is on the bottom. This will you do by removing, by opening the class and putting the layer into a separate class. Once the organic layer is all the way out of the separatory funnel, you will need to pour the remaining aqueous fluid into a separate and labeled flask. As you can see here, you have some emulsions that have formed, and these again are the tiny droplets of one phase partitioned in another. Emulsions can be, can be getting rid of by either waiting, because eventually they'll separate, or since we have limited lab time, you can add more of the organic solvent or saturated sodium chloride, or you can filter the entire liquid over diatomaceous earth. Whatever your TA uh, suggests is the best method for the emulsions that you have should be what you should do. Now that you have separated out the organic layer, we're going to be pouring the aqueous layer into a separate and labeled class. You'll need to do two more extractions with the hydrochloric acid, 15 more milliliters each time to make sure that you're extracting out all of the ketoanthroanaline in the organic solvent. You're going to want to pour your remaining organic layer back into the separatory funnel. Use a funnel to make sure that you're not losing any of your solvent. Once you have poured the organic layer back in, you need to add 15 more milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid into the separatory funnel. You'll see the same kind of separation as you saw during the last extraction. The two layers will form with the aqueous layer on top since it is less dense than the organic solvent, just like before. Now, take the funnel out, stop, stop for the uh, separatory funnel, and you'll want to shake the liquids again to remove more of the P-nitroaniline from the organic solvent. Make sure you're using good separatory funnel extraction techniques. Vent away from you and your neighbors before you shake and throughout the extraction.